No, 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 wait, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? Listen up. Today we're going to be talking about hamsters grooming themselves and why you shouldn't bathe a hamster in water. Hamsters are naturally tidy and clean animals and you will often see them grooming themselves. This grooming process is often sufficient enough to keep your hamster smelling, feeling and looking clean. Under normal circumstances, it is not a good idea to clean your hamster at all. Water can get into your hamster's fur and it can remove the protective oils in their fur and this leaves them feeling greasy and very dirty looking. This can also lead to your hamster catching a chill, which can be very fatal and very dangerous for your hamster's health. This is why you should avoid bathing your hamster at all costs and never ever let your hamster swim. It is a myth that hamsters love to swim. They don't actually really like to swim. The only time that they actually swim is in the wild when they're trying to get away from a predator and it's their only option of escape. What if my hamster is dirty? Hamsters will groom themselves to perfection. Sometimes they don't always look bright, shiny and clean, but eventually they will clean themselves up and make themselves look bright, shiny and clean again. If you would like to help your hamster towards their cleaning efforts, you can place a sand bath or a sand pit in their cage. Sand baths are more recommended towards helping hamsters clean themselves rather than water because sand gets in amongst their fur and contributes towards their oils in their fur and actually helps clean their fur as well without getting them wet. So if you don't want to help your hamster get cleaner, then place a sand bath in their cage. They will also maybe use a sand bath as a litter tray or a hoarding station, which you just have to clean out with a sieve and just pour the sand in and clean it out and yeah, you can reuse the sand. What if my hamster isn't grooming itself as normal? Hamsters are not just keeping themselves clean when they groom themselves. Another very important reason why hamsters groom themselves is for territorial reasons. Your hamster may love you very, very much, but they don't want to smell like you. So after you hold them, they will groom themselves to get the scent of you off and replace that with their own scent. This scent comes from tiny glands from the top of your hamster's hips. Grooming is a necessity for your hamster. So if grooming stops, there may be something seriously wrong with your hamster and to this I would recommend that you visit a vet. My hamster has something toxic in its fur. Do I clean it then? Obviously you don't want your hamsters to swallow anything that is toxic. If your pet somehow gets a substance like blue tack or nail polish on their fur, then you will want to try and cut this out before even attempting to bathe them. You could try using a sensitive baby wipe to try and scrub off the blue tack or get the nail polish off. Do not try and use nail polish remover in the case that it is nail polish that is on your pet because nail polish remover is extremely toxic and probably will harm your hamster's insides very very quickly. The best approach to try and approach cleaning something toxic off your hamster's fur first is to use a damp baby wipe that is sensitive for baby sensitive skin and just try and scrub the area very gently to try and get whatever's in your hamster's fur out. In any circumstance, you don't want to have to bathe your hamster fully. So even if the baby wipe isn't working, try using a damp sponge or a damp cloth in place to try and use that to get it off. You can also use Baby Johnson shampoo. This is the yellow one that comes in the bottle and it is safe for children's eyes. So this is the one that I recommend using on your hamster if you haven't got hamster shampoo. Only in extreme cases if you cannot get or your hamster is fully covered in some sort of a substance will you want to bathe them. Try and avoid bathing your hamster as much as possible. As I did say before it will remove the oils from your hamster's fur and it will make your hamster's fur look very dead and very greasy and very very dull. Well guys I know I kind of said I was going to do a DIY for this week but I'm really enjoying these sit down and talk videos at the moment. I am missing a DIY, I do want to get a DIY project under ways, but after building this massive cage, I think that's kind of just what took it out of me, and I was just like, right, it's time to sit down and do some education videos. <laughs> but anyway, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below, and tell me what kind of pets you have, how many pets do you have, and yeah, I'll see you on next week's video. Bye guys.